Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm a Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 1320 Northeast Kirby Street here in McMinnville. We're located at the right side of the home. We have a 4-inch ABS clean-out as our point of access. Uh, it does not have a clean-out cap on it, flange or cap. I would uh, highly recommend getting one of those installed so the debris doesn't get down the, the clean-out here and clog the line. Anyway, we're going to check out the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently we have water running. Here we go. Line transitions here from ABS. It looks like over to cast iron pipe. I'm having a hard time telling here at the joint. It almost looks like we've got something kind of coming out of the joint there, like roots. But we'll have to take another look when the line's drained out. And then it goes back to ABS plastic here. And it transitions over to uh, Schedule 3034 PVC pipe here, about 69 feet out. And here at 72 feet, we have reached the main lateral. And I'll do locates to uh, verify we're out in the street, and then we'll pull the line back after it drains out. All right, located the camera head successfully out the main lateral on Northeast Kirby.
We're back here at the uh, transition to cast iron. I did not see any uh, root strands poking through that joint there. It looks like it's just a little bit of uh, debris that's kind of stuck to the side of the pipe there at the joint. So here at about 33 feet, this is where the standing water or the belly in the line looks like it ends at. You can see how the joint there has uh, pulled apart and become offset because the pipe is settled, what it looks like. So anyway, I'm going to recommend a repair here. I'm going to uh, mark the line with white paint. Okay, I marked here with a white X. We're just past the uh, the gate that separates the front and back yard. We're from the we're on the front yard side of the fence on the right side, just to, adjacent to the driveway, and uh, it's very shallow. We're only about two feet seven inches deep here. I'm gonna reel back to the beginning of this belly. And here is the beginning of the belly. Looks like it starts here at about 25 feet out. And I'll mark this with a white X as well. And then I believe there's a belly at the beginning of the line. We'll also get that mapped out for repair. Uh, this one right here has about a half inch of standing water at its worst point. Um, not a terribly significant belly, uh, but you get the two bellies in conjunction with each other. The one at the beginning of the line is, is worse than this one here. It, it becomes a problem, um, even at a half inch of standing water. Back to back, they're an issue. So if you're going to correct the one at the beginning, you might as well get both of them taken care of. All right, and the, uh, the belly starts on the, uh, it, it spans both sides of the, the fence here. It extends from 25 feet to 33 feet, about an 8 foot section of the line, and it's the exact same depth on either end of it, it's 2 feet 7 inches deep. I do recommend a spot repair to correct that. It's it's under just dirt, it's very shallow, so that will uh, that'll do a lot to save and repair costs. A very easy line to get down to there. Now this is the more concerning part of the line is right off the bat from the it start the wa standing water starts right at the clean out. We're back to where the clean out is at currently. And there is about an inch of standing water right in the bait right where the uh, clean out ties into the main line here. So um, and it looks like it gets deeper than than one inch. It, we may also have a root or something coming through here. It's a very difficult part of the line to see. There's so much standing water and debris and murkiness going on here, it, but it, it looks like my camera is running into something, either that or there's just some funky turns in the line there where it's doing back and forth 45 degree turns or something. But I do recommend correcting this section of the pipe as well. And this is where the standing water ends at here. You can see how the joint there is also separated because it's settled. Right here at the end, there's obviously not quite as much standing water, but you generally have to correct more than just the significant portion to fix it. So this one will extend from the clean out out to 13 feet. And I'll mark that all with white paint. And I've marked here with a white X. I'm gonna, there's dots in between the X's uh, differentiating the two different spot repairs here. Uh, marked out with an X. We're at 1 feet 11 inches deep. We'll do a few different markings on this one.
All right, I have the uh, both spot repairs mapped out. Uh, the first one in the line extends from the clean out out to uh, about 12, 13 feet. One feet, 11 inches deep at the clean out as well as at the end of the, uh, the repair or the belly at least. I recommend correcting that. As, and then also the uh, belly that extends from 25 feet to 33 feet. Um, this first one here has an inch to probably about two and a half inches of standing water, especially right at the beginning. Uh, and then it kind of trails off after that. And then the other one has about a half inch of water. So uh, together they uh, very easily catch debris that come down the line and cause the line to clog up and back up. And because they're right off the bat here, almost immediately outside the house, if it clogs up here, it, you're going to get a backup about instantaneously. So definitely recommend fixing it and then doing a rescope to ensure the repair was done properly.